Hi, and welcome to another edition of Easy Theory. So we've done two examples on the NFA to regex conversion. So then you may be thinking, is there something more general that we can actually say at least with three states? And it turns out that we actually can. So let's make an NFA, an arbitrary NFA, and then try to figure out whether it is, uh, what the regex would look like, or what a regex would look like for it. So here is just an arbitrary, arbitrary three-state NFA. And, and this method can actually be extended to any number of states that you want. But I'm going to do three states to make it easier to actually visualize. So what is this going to look like? Well, it's again going to have three states, Q0, Q1, and Q2. But there could be any transitions between any of the states, and any set of the states could be final, and we don't know. So uh, let's just say that uh, all of them could have self loops. Let's just call the self loops A, B, and C. The, these could be the empty string. It could be nothing at all. It could be any of the any combination of any possible transition or no transition. And it could be that any of the states could be uh, going back and forth between each other with any set of transitions uh, because it's just an NFA. So this C right here could encode anything. It could be no transition at all. That that's entirely possible too. So I'm just going to name these with arbitrary names. So E, F, and G, and h okay so this is just an arbitrary nfa i'm not going to mark what states are final but what i am going to do is i'm going to do this uh first step of the the gnfa conversion which is making that brand new start state and it could be that any one of these three states could be final i, I don't know which ones are but i'm going to make that final state f and I'm going to put um, I, J, and K on those transitions. And what do those represent? Well, they're either going to be the empty set if the corresponding state is not final, and it, it's going to be the empty string if that state is final. Okay, so this is a nice way to encode any possible NFA at all. Because if this was the empty set, there's no way for this state to directly go to that final state, which means it's not a final state based on the construction that we did. Okay, So now what we're going to do is we're going to find a regex for this thing in terms of A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, and K. Okay, uh, No pun intended. So we only have three states to rip. They all are symmetric. So it doesn't actually matter which one we rip here. So let's just rip uh, Q0, just as an example. So let's uh, copy this whole thing down and paste it and scroll down. So we're trying to remove Q0 here. So the old, the, yeah, so actually S Q1 and Q2 all go into Q0, and Q0 goes to 1, 2, and F. So we actually have nine transitions to make. Holy moly. So let's actually try to do this. So we know that A is going to self, is the self loop here. So actually, I'm going to remove any transitions that. Uh, involve Q0 and then add them in just by looking at the picture above. So I removed every single transition that involves Q0 only. So let's just process these one at a time. So it could be that S goes to into Q0 and then out to Q1. Well that's going to be epsilon A star C. So this, um, yeah, I'm just going to do it all in white. So A star C goes to Q1. Uh, 
Yeah, okay, this is G. I, I should make a better G. So uh, this is going to, if I want to Q2, that's going to be A star G. So, so A, A star G. Make a better G. Uh, going to F, that's totally possible. So S, so A star followed by K. So K will go from here to the final state. So A star K. So that's entirely possible. Uh, Q1 could go from, go into Q, uh, Q0 and back to itself. So that's going to be, um, well, B was what was on the transition. Then union. Well, how did we get in? We read D, A star, C. So this will be D, A star, C. Um, and then Q1 going to Q2, that's totally possible. So that would be um, D, A star, G. We already have E here. So that's going to be E union D A star G. We could have Q1 going into Q0 and then back out to F. So that's going to be I union A, oops, um, D A star K. And I think that's it because we added three and Q0 can reach 3. Uh, what about Q2? Well, that could be, um, let's see, so if it's Q2, then it's essentially the same thing, or similar thing, but it starts with H. So then, if Q2 wanted to go to Q1 through Q0, that would be H A star C. So then this F transition would get F U, <laughs> F U, H A star C, I think, yeah. Uh, the self loop on Q2 would be going in is H A star G. <laughs> C U H A star G. And it could be that uh, Q2 goes in and to Q0 and then goes out to F. So that would be H. Ooh, I, I should uh, fix this. Uh, it turns out I put C here, even though I shouldn't have. Um, I'm going to change that. I'm going to change this to L. But it's not going to actually change anything uh, because I didn't actually remove Q2 yet. Whew. That, that could have been bad. So I'm going to have L be the self loop on Q2. And I think everything else is fine because there's no redundant, no duplicate transition. But if if we went from Q2 into Q0, then back, that would be H A star K. So then the J transition would get union H A star K. Yeah. So then uh, now we just need to rip more states. So let's just rip, uh, for example, Q1. So then... Um, what am I going to do? So I'm going to actually write this out um, instead of copying it down. So the only states that are left are going to be Q2 and F. So Q2 is going to be here. And uh, F is going to be over. Oops. Change the color. So F is going to be over here. So this is going to be a wild transition. <laughs> Um, set of transitions. So what can happen? So we can have S going to F through Q1. So we have A star K already there. So I'm going to make some room for this. So A star K is what was already there. Union going this, going into here, self loop here, going out. So then we have A star K union. What was on the first one? It was A star C. And then concatenated with this B union D A star C. 
So that was, uh, and then whole thing star because of the self loop. And then um, this part right here. So it would be I union D A star K. Okay, so that's one transition. Um, then let's see. So what else could happen? S could go to Q2 through Q1. So that would be, uh, let's see. So this one's going to be long too. We have A star G already here. So what I'm going to do is I have A star G union this other path, which is going to be A star C B union D. Maybe I'll make some more room. So then I'm just going to have it be like this. Okay, why is it? Why did it change colors on me? I don't know why it changed colors on me. All right, so A star G union, uh, A star C, B union D, A star C, whole thing star, got to remember that. And then going to Q2, which is uh, E union D A star G, because that's what this transition is. Oh boy. Um, the Q2 to uh, F transition is not going to change. So, so this transition is not going to change. So that's J union H A star K. Um, so the only thing left, I think, is to have the self loop. Let's just make sure I have that right. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Th th this is going to be updated. I forgot because it could be that Q2 goes through Q1 out. Oh boy. So uh, maybe what I should do is I'm gonna change the size of the, the pointer so it's, we, we can write smaller. So we have the existing transition here, J union H A star K. So that's already there. Or we can go through the other route, which is this transition and then this guy and then uh, this thing star and then this thing. So we have uh, F U A H A star K, uh, C then uh, B union D A star C whole thing star let me scroll down and then finally we we have uh, I U D A K so this would be I union D A K A star K. Okay, <laughs> so that's that transition. Now we get to deal with the inner transition. So that's going to be uh, this guy coming out. Uh, well, what was already there, unioning with this star, this concatenated with this. So that's going to be L union H A star G. Uh, union uh, this whole thing. So that's going to be F union H A star C uh, concatenated with B union D A star C whole thing star and then concatenated with uh, E union D A star G. So simple. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, this accurately describes um, any possible NFA that you could ever imagine. You can make uh, a regex for it. So then the final regex will be, uh, I'm not going to attempt to write it down, it's going to be this thing right here, union, this first one, this big boy star, concatenated with this big boy. And therefore you will have a regex that works with any three state NFA that you can possibly think of. So you don't have to write the algorithm. This regex works for any NFA, which is pretty dang cool. Although it's not so pretty, um, maybe I'll try to get it all on the um, one screen so it's not cut off. 
Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that pretty much gets everything. So you could write this whole thing out if you wanted to, or you can run this really simple algorithm. So the thing to keep in mind here is not to look at, oh, this is so complex, I, I hate it. Uh, therefore, I should never consider it because it's just so complicated. It is complicated, but the thing to keep in mind is that we're able to figure this out without running the entire algorithm or having to make any decisions whatsoever. You can write out the full regex and then just plug it in. It's kind of like a formula for three states. And notice that we didn't have to do this with three states. We could have had more states if we wanted to, and, although the, the regex will be absolutely massive, but you can do this for any NFA of any size. This simple idea, you can actually generate a regex that works with any NFA at all. You don't have to worry about a specific NFA anymore, which is pretty cool. So if you have any questions at all, uh, please put them in the comments. I read, I read every single one of them. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. Um, so I'm not sure if this is really easy theory um, in this case because it's just so, it's really complicated regex. But the thing is that the method is really easy once you understand how it works and that you can actually make it really easy for a computer just by plugging it in at the end. And as always, I'll see you next time.